welcome to my youtube channel I'm SD and in this video I'll be upgrading the SSD on my Dell Optiplex 7050 Micro. I'm switching from 128GB M.2 SATA to 250GB M.2 PCIe. So yes, this Dell Mini PC accepts both SATA and PCIe. Visually, there is a tiny difference between the two. SATA has two notches in the connection, while PCIe has only one. Okay, so let's get to it. There is only one screw holding the case here at the back and this screw should have been easier to unscrew even with just using hands. However, I did buy this PC second hand and the guys putting it together made sure to tighten this screw as much as possible. They also insisted that for a SSD replacement I must bring my mini PC to the repair shop and wait for a whole week. Um, I don't think so. Considering that this is a mini PC and there are a lot less parts inside, I don't think that I'd be going for the repair shop option when all I need to do is a simple SSD upgrade. Once the screw is out, I just need to slide the case forwards and there we have it. You can see there really isn't a whole lot going on inside. There is a case for a 2.5 inch SSD too, but I'm gonna put it to the side just for now. Underneath I can see my current SATA SSD, which is held by this tiny screw here at the end. So once I screw it, I can slide the old SSD out And then I can connect my new SSD. I need to bring back that little screw and secure the new SSD with it. And that really is all there is to it. Now, of course, all I need to do is to return uh, the 2.5 inch SSD case and close up the main case. But of course, me being a woman, I obviously don't know what I'm doing, so I get this error as soon as I turn on my PC. Okay, okay, I am joking of course. My Windows was installed on my old SSD and of course I have no operating system installed on the new SSD and that is why I'm seeing this screen. I happen to still have my flash drive with Windows 11, so I just plugged that in and installed Windows again. Now, there are a few extra steps that I needed to do, but you can definitely run Windows 11 on Dell Optiplex 7050. I'm probably going to do a dual boot soon. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.